Hello friends, this video on fun with magnets part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the next property of a bar magnet. So the next property is north or south pole cannot be isolated. This is a very interesting property. So let's say you have a magnet. Now as I said that a bar magnet will have a north pole and a south pole and the two poles are located at two extreme ends. Now what do you think would happen if we break the magnet in from between? So if you break the magnet maybe with a hammer or something, however in, by some process let's say you have broken the magnet into two pieces. So do you think that this magnet one piece will have the north pole, the other piece will have the south pole? That is not the case. So when you break this magnet into multiple pieces, so you see like here this entire magnet has been broken into five different pieces and each of them is a magnet. So we can never isolate a north or a south pole. So every time a north pole we will have a corresponding south pole and vice versa. So if, even if you break a magnet into 10 pieces, so each of those pieces would be a magnet. So each of these, those pieces will have a north and a south pole. So this is another very important property of a bar magnet. The third property is like poles repel and unlike poles attract. So if you bring two magnets near each other, so if the unlike poles, unlike means different poles, so that means maybe south pole of one and the north pole of another. If they face each other, they tend to attract each other, so they tend to come near each other. Whereas if the opposite, if the same poles, that is the like poles are near, then they tend to repel each other, so they tend to go away from each other. So it, it is like when the two things are different, so south and north will always attract each other whereas south south will repel each other, north north will repel each other. It is something like this, north and north, so they will tend to go away from each other. Similarly south south, they will tend to go away from each other. But whenever it is north south, they tend to come near each other. So that, that's about the attraction and repulsion between different poles of magnets. So this is again a very important property of magnet. Now it is very important that we take proper care of magnets otherwise the magnet will lose their magnetic property. So what is the most important property that a magnet has? The most important property is the ability to attract the magnetic materials. Now if, if we do not take care of it, the magnet will lose that special property. So it will no more be called as a magnet. So some of the important things are they should be stored properly because if they are not stored properly, if they are exposed to very high temperature or pressure or any such conditions, they might lose their magnetic property. Do not heat a magnet because again when you heat it to a very high temperature, uh, it, it, uh, it kind of uh, distorts the alignment of the structural, it, it distorts the structural alignment of the magnet and that's how it loses its properties. Do not hammer a magnet because hammering a magnet again makes it lose its uh, special properties. So now the question when we talk about uh, the fact that they should be stored properly. So how do we store magnets? What do we mean by proper storage of magnets? So when we talk about storing magnets, the first thing is they should be stored at room temperature because as I said at high temperature magnets tend to become weaker. Store in a dry place because magnets are made up of substances like iron. So when iron is exposed to uh, water, sometimes it cause, causes corrosion. So to prevent these kind of reactions, they should be always stored in dry place. Bar magnets to be kept in pairs with unlike poles on same side. Now this is important. Now as you can see here, let's say these are two bar magnets. So they should be placed in such a way that the unlike poles like north and south, they are like together. Now why is it so? Because it has been observed that if the free ends or the free poles of the magnets are left just like that, so that reduces the magnetic property of that magnet. So if you just leave a single bar magnet just like that for a long time, so their free ends, that is their free poles will tend to lose the magnetic properties. Now the magnets will become weaker with time due to the free poles at the end. So to prevent this from happening, bar magnets are always stored in this fashion. Horseshoe magnet 
to be kept with a piece of iron across the plane poles so you see in this case you really do not do not have two separate poles so on one side you have north and on the other side you have south so you take a piece of iron and you kind of connect the two poles so that you know the free ends are not there so that that's why horseshoe magnets are uh, stored in this way keep magnets away from cassettes mobiles television music system cds and computers so that their magnetic properties are retained Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.